Chapter Al Hadi Al Udhiya and Al Aqifa. The obligatory aspects of Al Hadi have already been mentioned, and anything in addition to that is Sunnah, which is the same applying to Al Udhiya and Al Aqifa. It is not befitting for a Muslim who is able to perform Udhiya to leave it. The Prophet said in the meaning of which, whoever can afford to perform Al Udhiya but does not must not come near our prayer place. Reported by Imam Ibn Majah and Imam Ahmad. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the meaning of which if the ten days of Dhul-Hijj arrive and one of you wants to perform al udhiyah then he should not cut any of his nails or hair until he performs it. Narrated by Imam Muslim who in another narration said Nar formed his skin. Concerning this it must be an animal found in cattle meaning the following conditions when it comes to age. Al-Jad half a year old sheep a thani, which includes the following five year old camel, two year old camel, and one year old goat. Additionally, it is a condition that he must be free from any defects that prevent an udhat from being correct. The Prophet said, Four types of animals are not permissible for udhi are an explicitly one eyed animal, a clearly sick animal, a limping animal whose limping is clear, and an old one without mirror. Narrated by the five authors of the sunnah. The sacrificial animal should be of a good breed and complete in all its features. The more perfect it is, the more beloved it is to Allah and greater reward it is for its owner. Owner. Jabba radiallahu anhu said in the, in the meaning of which, in the year of al Hudaybiyah, we sacrifice with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa a camel on behalf of seven people and also a cow on behalf of seven. The aqiqa is a highly emphasized sunnah for the father or whoever takes its place and is recommended to sacrifice two sheep for a newborn boy, one sheep for a newborn girl.